Hello fellow subscribers, what's up? It's me, Vivus from Slider here. This video is merely a continuation of what I've been doing so far. Trying to build the rotation through facing tasks which can survive the rotation of an activity. So I have three classes. There's main activity, the non-UI task fragment and my task. If you guys haven't seen the previous videos, please go back and check them out. So inside my my task, if you guys noticed currently, there's my own pre-execute inside which I have not written any code. Here, my idea is to make the progress bar visible and keep it as it is. Inside the doing background, inside my while loop where I actually download the file, I've called publish progress. Now inside this publish progress is gonna call the method on progress update. Inside this, I've already calculated the percentage of the file that is being downloaded. I simply wanna update the progress bar with this value. And inside the on post execute, I wanna hide the progress bar once the download has been completed. So how do I accomplish this? Now there are two methods that we're gonna build first. One is to show the progress bar in on pre-execute before downloading. And the second one is to hide the progress bar inside our on post execute after downloading. Where do we create these methods? We create them inside our main activity. So here, let's go ahead and make those methods. So there we go with our methods that is show progress bar before downloading. Now. The first condition is when do we display a progress bar if there is actually a task running then only we need a progress bar to be displayed otherwise there is no need to show it right so the first thing that we want to check is is there a task is it null so if you guys remember inside our non UI task fragment there is our my task which is initially null only when someone calls begin task from the activity the my task is initialized and it starts right so we want to make sure that our fragment which is our non UI task fragment dot my task now obviously I can't get a reference directly so I'm gonna go here to non UI task fragment make it default over here so inside my main activity I can say my dot my task not equals null so the first condition is our my task should not be null if we want to show a progress bar in other words there, there should be a task running to show a progress bar now the next thing that we need to check is this when do we show a progress bar a progress bar is shown only if it is invisible otherwise it's not shown right so we want to check the progress bars visibility if you guys remember our progress bar is actually download images progress so we're gonna go here let's get our progress bars visibility by saying download images progress dot get visibility this should not be visible so we can gonna say view dot visible then only we will show the progress bar now of course there is another condition with this now the progress bar should not be at 100 percent otherwise what is the use of displaying it right so we're gonna have an and and over here and we're gonna say download images progress dot get progress now this is gonna give you the current value of the progress bar this should not be x equal download images progress dot get maximum value now the maximum value in our case in XML if you guys remember it's 100 so we are checking the current progress and we are seeing that that should not be equal to 100 then we display our progress bar so we can go here we can say download images progress dot set visibility we can say view dot visible now a very similar logic lies when you're trying to hide the progress bar after downloading again the first thing that you want to see is when should you hide the progress bar the task should not be running right there should be no task so we're gonna say fragment that is our non UI task fragment dot my task should not be equal to null then only you do any of these steps otherwise you skip everything so here what you're gonna do is you're gonna have another if condition here when should we hide the progress bar now if it is visible then only we hide the progress bar right so we can say download images progress dot get visibility equals equals view dot visible only then you go ahead and hide the progress bar so we can say download images progress dot set visibility in this case we can say view dot gone and hide it so those are our two methods for showing and hiding the progress bar so if you go to my task right now inside the on pre execute what we want to do is show the progress bar before downloading so we have our reference of the activity over here and if you guys remember even if the activity is destroyed it's updated through this method on attach which is actually called by your fragment so inside the on pre-execute what we want to do 
Now currently this activity reference is actually a general activity but here what we have is actually main activity which is a subclass of activity so we get this reference inside on pre execute we typecast it to main activity by saying main activity put a bracket around the whole thing and then say show progress bar before downloading the same way we copy paste this inside on post execute over here and we hide the progress bar after downloading so we can say here hide progress bar after downloading now notice something very carefully we are not directly trying to access the progress bar anymore inside our my task rather we have the latest reference of the activity and we are calling certain methods on that activities reference which means when the activity is destroyed and recreated on the new object of the activity that we have this method show progress bar before downloading or hide progress bar after downloading will be called the same way from our my task if you guys remember we call publish progress inside do in background which is going to call on progress update inside this we want to update our progress bar again we are not directly going to access the progress bar here rather we are going to get the reference of the activity and call a method to update the progress bar with the required value so first thing we want to do is go inside our main activity make a method that can update our progress bar we can say public void update progress something like that and that takes an integer progress value over here so inside that you can directly say progress bar dot set progress equal to that progress now from our my task on our own progress update we use the activity here now there is one very important thing that you need to remember now notice careful now this my task if you guys remember keeps running right but the activity gets destroyed and recreated when the activity is about to be destroyed there's our on detach over here that's being called where the activity is null and when it is recreated our on attach is called where our new reference of the activity is obtained now between the time the activity is destroyed and recreated there might be a small amount of time gap so if you're calling publish progress continuously and inside your on progress update if you directly say activity dot something it's gonna give you an exception because the activity may be null for some time so in that case what you want to do is have an if else now we want to do this everywhere so here what we want to do is you want to check if activity equals equals null you can directly have a log message over here which says skipping the progress up if it's not null, you want to do the same thing that is typecast everything and then simply call the update progress method over here so one more thing that we need to consider is the on progress update is going to be called a large number of times and here we are calculating the progress even if the activity is null what is the use of calculating the progress so do this only when the activity is not null so cut this paste this inside else and that's our perfect code the same thing we need to replicate here inside our on pre execute and on post execute so here we in the on pre execute we do the same thing by saying if activity equals equals null then do nothing otherwise show the progress bar so we can directly paste this inside and have our condition saying activity not equals to null the same thing i'm going to replicate here inside on post execute so now just one piece remains to complete our puzzle inside our activity underscore main dot xml if you see the progress bar it's made invisible by default so inside our main activity in the on create at the time when things are initialized we want to decide if the progress bar should be made visible or invisible and the criteria is very simple the first thing that we check is is the fragment not null so we say if fragment not equals null great then the next thing that we want to check is if our task is not null so we have to worry about the progress bar only if the task is not null so for that we can say fragment dot my task not equals null the next thing also we need to check at the same time is the task running so we can say fragment dot my task now there is a method which says get status we can say get status over here we compare that with async task dot status dot say running so we need to worry about showing or hiding the progress showing the progress bar only if the async task is running so here we simply go and say download images progress dot set visible we can say view dot visible over here so that's all we need to do so there's our on create stuff there's our show progress bar before downloading method called from our on pre execute and inside our own post execute we call our hide progress bar after downloading other than that inside the on progress update 
we call the update progress method and we give the integer value we want to set and everything looks great now of course this can be further optimized but since it's a Saturday evening I'm feeling too lazy to do that I have the code on github forward slash slide nerd if you guys are in the mood you can take it up you can make it better and you can let me know what you have done activities up and running if I rotate the screen right now nothing happens again if I rotate it back as you guys notice there is no progress bar again seen but if I click image 7 and if I start downloading that image by clicking download at the top the progress bar starts updating over there so guys notice if I rotate the screen right now it rotates and take a look the progress bar is still getting updated if I rotate back here again the progress bar is retained and it's still getting updated now thanks to my shitty internet over here this is taking ages for downloading a simple image with 10 MB or in size but let me show you what happens when this thing is completed over there so at this point the image is almost gonna be downloaded the progress bar has disappeared if I rotate the screen back now and there is no sign of the progress bar which means this works perfectly this is the async task with the rotation proof that you guys want to use in your apps now of course this can be optimized like I said earlier and you guys are welcome to try your hand on it in the meantime only one word that comes from my side BAM it's done so we move further in the next videos we start talking about loaders loader managers cursor loaders async task loaders and stuff in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day